right, today I'm going to be restoring my Gucci sandals. As you can see, it's pretty worn. I bought this in 2018. I wore it just about every day when it's sunny out. It's my favorite thing to wear when I'm on vacation, going to the Philippines, Mexico, whatever. Yep. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean these shoes or these sandals and how to paint them with the correct paint and everything. So here we have a set of paint brushes from Angelus and an easy cleaner detergent. And we have an olive acrylic leather paint, dark green, uh, red, and uh, we're going to be also using a varsity color. We're going to be mixing those. Here I'm going to be using the Angelus um, soft brush and a leather preparer deglazer and an acrylic finisher to finish it off. I'm also going to be using a harder brush for some tough stains. So the Angelus cleaner is basically an all-in-one detergent. So when you're brushing your shoes, don't be afraid to scratch the paint uh, because we're going to be uh, deglazing that later on anyway. So obviously drying it after washing the shoes. Um, and over here we have a cotton squares that we're going to be using with our deglazer it's basically an acetone so if you look at the paint on your sandals uh, it's kind of shiny we kind of just want to get rid of that so that our paint can adhere to the shoes a lot better have an olive and a dark green color that we're going to be mixing so paint matching is very important when pa painting shoes or anything really um, I would say about 50% olive and 50% dark green so what I'm doing here is I'm adding dark green into the olive green and mixing it up until I get the color I want. Don't be afraid if the color is a little bit lighter. It should darken up once it dries. It's important to start off with a very thin layer. If you have shaky hands, I recommend taping the edges. I don't think it matters which color you start off with, but I just feel like green would be a little bit more messier. Yeah, make sure each layer is dried completely before you put another layer of paint on it. I did about three layers of green paint in each shoes before I was really satisfied with the color. We're 
paint matching the red part of the shoes so you want to get a red and a varsity color and mix it well so same exact way of paint matching when we paint match the green one uh, with the varsity in red I probably did at least 60% red and maybe 40% of the varsity color again you want to lightly paint the first layer Now be very careful when you use the heat gun, it could easily open up your glue on the sides of your sandals. I did about 10 coats of the red. It took, a, it took forever, but be patient with it. Make sure it's dry in each layer. It'll just make it easier for you in the long run. Now I'm going back to the green to fix some of my mistakes because nobody's perfect. Right here I'm touching and testing the paint to make sure it's really dry. If it's sticky then it's not super dry so be patient with it. So remember when I said be careful with the heat gun? To fix this issue, I bought a super glue for shoes, boots on Amazon and this cost me $10 and it worked well. So once we're happy with the color and everything's dried, we're going to top it off with the Angelus finisher. This finisher is really tough but you only really need a light coat on top.